Okay, one more test. We're gonna try with the Hornet middle tip. If this doesn't go through, nothing will go through. It put a pretty big dent in. And this is the lead one. The last one was a non lead. It can ricochet off. This will just destroy on, on the spot. This will destroy on the spot. Destroy the pallet. Okay. Let's see if I can adjust it good. Okay, laser on. Hopefully don't break any windows. Let's make a gun again. I think this dot is it. The lid just uh, disintegrated and the metal tip punch in. Just a th second thought. I think the reason it went through, it does have 16.2 grand, which is more than half of the weight as before. Um, just the sheer momentum and the speed plus with the cutting metal tip I believe it that's how I punch through this gun this frying pan at 21 yards okay. oh my god it's alive Hello went through his leg, clear through. He don't walk very good. So he went back into this hole in my neighbor's house. He traveled all the way from here all the way back there walking just with a small limp. So this is the reason I want to do the test is I suspect, can you see anything in there? I suspect the pellet's so powerful it didn't do its job. Most of the time, it just penetrates right through the squirrel. Which, it, the kill rate is very high, but in this particular case, if we hit the wrong spot, the squirrel would just limp along. Instead, killed it. And I believe this time, it shot its leg through its thigh. It might have gone through his body and shot straight through it with an internal wound. It didn't, it didn't do much of organ damage enough for it to survive this long. I believe, I believe this squirrel had 50-50% chance to live. Maybe 70% chance to live. The only reason I say that is because just the way it moves around, there's, there was almost no blood on its body. I couldn't get my camera painted fast enough, but I was looking at it. It was just walking like a normal squirrel with a little limp. I go back to slow motion footage. I believe there's a hole right by his leg. Okay, this might be the longest video I'm gonna make. A bunch of stuff happened in this video. So, the result. Let's look it closer. See how thick that steel is? Yeah, it's a little thicker than a tin can. But not that much. 
thicker, but it is. It's a pretty good size. So what happened is, I believe, the deluxe all around. It's 16, oh, it's 9.9 .9 grand, 22 caliber. Looks like this. The pellet hit this first spot right there. Get a better angle on, on this. It hit it and it bounced back and hit one of our, my house or each side, one neighbor's house. But I'm hitting a 90 degree dead on. So the chance is probably just bounced back and hit my house. That's why it hears her so loud noise. Okay, at 900 plus FPS, this did a pretty good damage. If you look at the dent. The death of the dent. Okay. This is why I was aiming. Right in the middle. So basically, if we look, 90 degrees up. This is why I was aiming. Right there. And due to the 15 degrees shooting up, this might even be higher. This might be 16 degrees. Shooting uphill in an angle, obviously. Um, and the bullet drop, the weight, it lands about right here. So it's about right. It's about one inch off. Okay. Typically, it's about one inch anyways. So it's fairly accurate. Okay, here's the crazy one. So I thought, you know, this is a Game of uh, Luxor is a penetration round because due to the pyramid shape, it, pen it penetrates pretty good and it's not lead. Lead typically uh, disintegrate on impact or mushroom. Then I decided to try the Hornet with the metal tip. And this is what happened. I found the actual... I will show the images right now. But looks like... Most likely, and this is the the actual round in comparison. The middle tip went through like this. It fits almost perfectly. Even the hole. It fits almost perfectly. I believe it's not even almost. It's just perfect. If you look on the other side, I hold it, I hold it around. You can tell the middle tip is definitely Can get it focused. Okay. So the middle tip falls through this, went through on the other side. And around, the middle tip continued, came out the lead housing. Came out the lead housing, and this thing just eject. So if I can put this back to where it is, let's see if I find where it fits, just almost perfect. Okay. It had to fit one way. It's like a glove. It has to fit. Oh, right there. I got it. Right there. And that shows a 90 degree up. That shows a 90 degree upwards towards towards the shooter. And that bra side. And this bra side, let me zoom back out, sorry. This bra side hit right there. And it shows straight up. Get to the other side. Let me show this again. It fits like a glove. Nope, not tip over. So, it's almost like a little Abram tank penetration round where they used to, US Army to hit the tank. Tank killer. With a, a tungsten rod. And the tungsten rod, this will bring the mass. You need a mass. It will hit the tank, shattered. The tungsten rod goes through the tank, melted and penetrate into it. But you need a mass. And tungsten is not that heavy. So, but once you get a mass on impact, this will hit through it. And I believe this probably created the heat, a very good heat, to kill this thing. It comes to my conclusion, this well, this round, or this round, I mean, this is fairly incredible round, this, uh, either two of this round. This round can probably, with the amount of dent, I feel, uh, you, if you want to stab anything, this part can probably kill a coyote. Up to a coyote, maybe. Maybe a raccoon. At 900 FPS. But this round, I believe, this is a super hard frying pan. This might be able to penetrate a deer. I don't think you can kill it, but you can hit it, and it will go fairly deep. Or a human skull. I mean, shit, I don't even believe human skull is as strong as this frying pan. So... This might be the most deadly round there is for 22 pellets with a metal tip. This has max piercing power. I believe it. Insane. Insane.